I'm Chef Tammy Brawley with Heart of the Home. We're here at Meadow Event Park today and we're going to work with some gorgeous rockfish caught in our great Chesapeake Bay just a couple of days ago. First thing we want to do is we have a large serving bowl and yes, it does require a lot of salt, but it's great. We're going to pour all of the salt, it's about two pounds. You really want to think about how, how much your fish weighs to do this recipe. This uh, rockfish um, we have is about three to five pounds. I've got two pounds of kosher salt and I've got six egg whites. We're going to mix in the egg whites in our salt. Get in here just like this. Nice and thorough mixture. Kind of sticky. It reminds me of snow cream when I was growing up. We want to put some salt crust on our pan. Then we're going to move this gorgeous bad boy over to the pan. We're going to open it up and we're going to stuff it with those lemon slices and the fresh thyme. So we've got it stuffed with our thyme and our lemon slices, and now we're going to totally encase it in this salt crust. You don't have to worry so much about the tail or the head, but you definitely want to get that body encased. And if you feel like you need more salt, you can certainly do that. I personally think this is a perfect amount. It's already starting to kind of feel sticky, kind of like a clay to a certain extent. There we go. This is absolutely beautiful. We're going to pop this into the oven for about 30 minutes and then it's going to get nice and brown and then we're going to um, break open that crust and we're going to see the most delicious, most tender fish. One of the things that I love about this recipe is um, I have friends that live in Matthews and we did this recipe there at their house and my friend's husband was um, out in the middle of Chesapeake Bay catching the fish. He calls me on the phone and said he was catching red drum and rockfish. What did I want? And I said, oh, a well, rockfish, please. Um, he pulls the boat up gets off, um, cleans my fish, walks into the kitchen and hands me a fresh fish. So if you have a fisherman like that, um, he's a treasure to have. So keep that in mind. And we're going to pop this in the oven and we're going to come back in about a half an hour. All right, so we were in a 425 degree convection oven for about a half an hour. We've let the fish rest and now it's time for the magic. We're going to move the fish over to the large cutting board. And I'm not sure if you can hear that, but it is hard as it should be. I keep wanting to say meringue because when you cook uh, egg whites, they become meringues. It's not really meringue, it's just egg whites and salt as you saw me do earlier. Now, here is the fun part. First of all, it's going to be messy, um, but to me, anything good is always gonna be messy. Um, for those of you that have a meat tenderizer in your kitchen, it's the perfect thing to use. If you don't have a meat tenderizer, you can always use a handy dandy hammer, which is what we're gonna do. Keep in mind that, first of all, we've cleaned the hammer, but the hammer part never touches the fish. It's only gonna be touching the crust. So we're gonna crack it open, and I'm gonna kinda pull up the foil a little bit to sorta maybe cut down on the mess a little. And you can certainly hear how crusty that is. So when you pull the fish from the oven, it does need to rest for about 10 minutes. You might even want to let it rest a little bit longer because it's really, really hot. Um, I stopped and let it rest a bit more and now I'm going to continue. We're going to be pulling off the skin and pulling away more of that salt crust. Much cooler than it was. I'm happy about that. I actually kind of like to work with the skin while it's here. And then we'll pull that first layer of fish off. I'm not going to worry about going too far towards the tail or towards the head. And if I do it properly, we should be able to leave the bone and just pull some of the fish. I'll grab my spatula. Work its way under. I'm feeling the bone. I'm not digging into it. I'm going to pull some of it over on my beautiful plate here with the fresh thyme and lemon slices. So now we should be able to reach in and pull that bone. Look at that. Looks like a cartoon, right? Where's a cat when you want one? How's that? So now we've got a second layer of fish that we can pull away from that skin if we want to.
That lemon and fresh thyme gave it a nice fragrant um, aroma. Now there's a lot more meat that we could take our time to work on here. You certainly want don't to uh, make sure you get every bit of that. Um, but you can see it's a beautiful plate here with some lemon and some thyme. And now, um, as I like to tell people, never trust a chef that doesn't eat their own food. So let's taste it. Mmm. Heaven. Nice and tender. Done in our salt crust with our egg whites and our lemon and thyme slices. Chesapeake Bay rockfish just in the water a couple of days ago. I hope you'll try this recipe. Thanks for joining us today. Recipes from the heart of the home can be found on the Virginia Farm Bureau website at vafb.com. And visit Chef Tammy Brawley's website at greenkitchenrichmond.com.